Hello, this is Ira Whiteside, BI Architect from Melissa Data. Uh, in an earlier video, we looked at uh, analyzing metadata mart data, basically data profiling data, uh, that can be created through the use of the Melissa Data data profiling tools, uh, specifically the SSIS components. What I'd like to do now is show you another interesting way and very informative uh, use of a tool, Click View, uh, which is available as a personal edition. Uh, in addition to their commercial versions, uh, they also provide a personal edition, which is unrestricted and unlimited. It allows you to do the kind of analysis we're going to look at here. The only restriction is uh, you're not able to share this with other users. Uh, for that, you'd need to purchase the uh, commercial version. So what I'd like to do is first open up the uh, Click View document that we'll be working with, which is the Click View Metadata Mart. Now, briefly, there are excellent videos on the Click View uh, website, which will show you how to use the tool and get started. I have literally only had the tool for about six or seven hours. Uh, and just to give you a little background without going into too much Click View uh, education, primarily uh, what we're looking at here. It is a desktop application uh, with Excel-like capabilities. You're going to actually put a script in here that will allow you to read the data and create the source that you need for you to be able to do your analysis. Uh, and if we were to take a look real quick at the script, we'll bring that up. Again, we're not going to go into detail on how to create the script, but you will notice here that there's a little bit of SQL down here. We've set our script view up to read an ODBC connection. And as you can see here, we're going to do a select star, select asterisk from our Melissa Data demo table, our MetaMart, Metadata Mart domain pattern table. And we're going to basically bring back all the rows. So given that you've uh, gone through one or two quick view tutorials and understand how to get the data populated, now let's take a look at what goes on in here. Uh, you'll remember in an earlier video that we used Excel capabilities to accomplish this. So here you can see the Excel sample where we were able to create a pivot table and do various types of analysis by using the Excel pivot table capabilities. And again, in our example here, we were examining the process of cleaning state data uh, as it existed. We had looked at various kinds of state and state errors, double ends, triple ends, states with number and numbers in them, and the like. Uh, now if we go back to the Click view interface, we're going to look at uh, doing some of the same kind of analysis, but by exploring some of the click view capabilities. Uh, now, briefly, in click view, you have the ability to, what you're looking at here is a click view uh, sheet, and you're able to create and put in various sheet objects, list boxes, uh, input boxes, and the like, and charts. And literally, what we've done here is we've done uh, one query. We've brought a few columns in. We've created some list boxes, so we have our columns here. We have our source data, which is telling you the files that came in. We know whether data was cleaned or not cleaned. We have our column names of state and zip. We have the values in those columns. We have the patterns and the timestamps. All of the same information we had in Excel. The paradigm that ClickView uses, though, is one where, as we're looking at visually, of what we have on the screen, if we were to make a selection here for, uh, let's say, state, uh, we're going to see now what's going to happen is all of the white values are related to what to our selection is, and all of the grayed out values are unrelated. So here we've got the state values, as you can see, Arkansas, Alabama, the patterns that existed for state, and the sources. Well, if we open up our uh, Metadata Mart pattern animated trend here, we're going to look at some of the charting capabilities here for uh, for our example. So let's just size this up a little here. What you're looking at here is a, a chart that I've created pretty quickly, which is going to allow us to uh, basically watch the data as it's clean. What we have here is we've got our, our bar chart here, and we've certainly got our dirty data, which is over here. You can see that we've got data. Uh, for the, as I said, selected the state column with blanks, dollar signs. The Z stands for the fact that it's an alpha uh, and, a, and a number or a nine represents whether it's a number. So here we've got two alphas and a number, 
or we've got an alpha and a percent sign. Uh, or you can see here for the ZZ, which is where most of her is, we've got two alphas. We're also going across to time here on the bottom. And what we're going to do is we want to analyze uh, what happened to our data as it processed each time we ran and whether it was clean. ClickView has a pretty handy capability here to be able to animate our graph, and we'll do that. So as you can see, as we're processing data, we're able to see that the dirty data becomes cleaned, and in the end, we now have all clean data at the ZZ level. Furthermore, if we wanted to kind of understand at, hey, at what point or what day or what time, when did we get some of our data, if we notice the Z percent sign here, we'll see that we get a little bit of a blip here. We've got some problems coming up. Uh, and actually, I probably did that in reverse. If we were looking at the graph, we could have looked for the blip and then known that it was a Z uh, percent. If we decide, you know, we'd actually maybe like to have a little better understanding of that. Uh, so in that case, we can, particularly over here in the distinct pattern, we can click on that, and now suddenly that's the only value that we have. Well, for instance, if we want to know what that value is, if we click on another chart that we've created, which actually is the Metadata Mart Value Distribution Animated Trend, uh, that chart, and let me size this one up here a little bit too, is also going to show us those same values. It's going to show us the values that we have and which ones were actually cleansed. So in this case you can see that uh, we can see the value here that was actually cleansed was M percent sign. If we uh, return now and uh, unclick and now allow all of the patterns to be displayed, another interesting capability here through click view is actually the ability to uh, display the entire data with the range of values. You can see here we've got a range of uh, values from Arkansas, Alabama, Arizona. We've got some invalid values here, values with numbers and uh, triple N's, Minnesota 1. We can actually watch on what days and how that data got cleaned. You can see here as we cycle through the days, we can stop on any given day and see what happened, see what our value was, and actually further limit our values on uh, on what we're looking for. So really an excellent capability to do graphical and visual analysis and using the click view paradigm. Uh, again, I've only actually had the application, like I said, for a day and a half and have been uh, quite pleased with its capabilities and the fact that they do offer a community, if you will, uh, a free addition to allow you to do some of the analysis. Now before we're done, just a couple of other things here. One that you can see here is if we if we take a look at uh, wanting to understand maybe the details, we have the ability here to open up a uh, list box that has all of the values in it. Here we've got actually a pivot table. We're looking at state. We can drill into state. We can drill into particular values. We can see particular counts. We've got another sample here of another pivot table uh, where we're taking the same table. And as I expand this here, uh, basically blown this out so we could do things like looking at with a linear bar. We can see the bulk of our values here are in the ZZ alpha pattern. We can see our clean values are all of the same. We've got our little M percent sign here. We can take a look at and see what we got in terms of problems and the blips that we have on those bars. Uh, and then the last uh, capability I'd take a look at here is the uh, details box. In addition here, if we want to be able to take a look at the details or dump it out to Excel, we can certainly do that. We can simply hit our Excel export button and obviously, as you can imagine, uh, we'll be opening up an Excel spreadsheet and dropping the values in there. So here we've dropped those values in, as you can see. And then one final view, if we go back to our, uh, oops, sorry, rather exciting uh, value distribution trend. Here is the one where we're actually looking at the states move. If we take a look at what's going on and we decide on a particular or a given day we've got uh, some values that we want to understand and we want to maybe discuss that or uh, review it, we can actually take, and there are several capabilities here that we can include on our charts. Uh, one rather nice one is to uh, be able to copy that image and do that screen copy and, and if we need to here in this case Again, uh, open up Microsoft Word or any other document as we uh, allow that here to open up for a second. Once we've got that blank document, 
then we can paste in the both the data image again as you can see by simply copying it to the clipboard or if we want to be able to get the graph itself we can click the copy to image icon you can choose which one of these you actually want on for your user capabilities if we go back to our same word document open it up a little bit more and perhaps uh, create a new page we can then see that we can actually paste in the image again these become important at least in your ability to not only do the analysis but get meaningful uh, management and visual deliverables obviously in this case I have barely scratched the surface of click view capabilities certainly apologize to any click view enthusiast out there uh, since this is just my first effort but I think it's important and valuable information and an excellent way for you to be able to leverage the uh, metadata and the data profiling information virtually the metadata marks that we're able to create uh, with our Melissa data tool set again this is Ira Whiteside from uh, the BI architect for Melissa data if you have any questions or you'd uh, like to review any of this or see any of the packages or the details that are available to create it uh, please feel free to call me. My uh, call me. My contact information is ira ira at melissadata.com. Uh, thank you very much.